right, Honky Tonk Man was a big hit, actually the first hit for Dwight Yoakam. Uh, but before that, it was a hit for Johnny Horton, who co-wrote the song with Tillman Franks and Howard Hawsey. Uh, the Johnny Horton and the Dwight Yoakam versions are actually very similar in terms of key and roadmap and feel. Uh, but since we've gotten a lot of requests for the Dwight Yoakam version, we're going to teach the guitar parts uh, like we hear them on that recording, which means a lot of fun country picking for acoustic and electric guitar players. In this tutorial, we're going to teach the acoustic picking, so we'll learn the introduction and then the bridge solo, which is played on the acoustic. First, let's learn this introduction because we're going to play this exact thing at the end of the bridge solo. So we'll want to make sure we get this under our fingers uh, real well here to start. Sounds like this. All right, so to start here, we're going to uh, realize that this whole song is swung, uh, which just means instead of playing it straight, we, if we were going to play it straight, it would sound like this. Okay, it's one and two and three and four and that's straight, but this song is not straight, it's swung, so it's one and two and three and four. It's got that kind of gallopy um, horse riding feel. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, so we're gonna start right here. Let's get just this much. So that's fourth fret of low E string, then open A, then second fret of A. Back to open A, fourth fret of low E, second fret. Then we're gonna repeat that, but with one pick on the second fret first. Then four, open, second, open, fourth fret of low E, and back. This tutorial is gonna cover the rhythm guitar part that we're playing on the acoustic underneath uh, the singing and when we're not doing the acoustic picking. And if you watch Dwight Yoakam in some live videos playing this song, it's, it's a very subtle part. He's hardly playing at all. Um, and you really have to kind of strain to hear it on the recording as well. Uh, so what we're just gonna do is uh, a nice background rhythm accompaniment part. We're gonna use E chords, standard E, open, second fret, second fret, first fret, open, open. A's, just the bar chord. And for most of these, we're gonna be focusing on just the low couple strings. So this is open A, then we're going to bar the second fret of D, G, and B. And then B7s, we'll play open like this, second fret of A, first fret, second fret, open, second. One, two, three, four, one. In the bridge solo, one, two, three, four, one. All right, there's a lot of repetition in this electric rhythm part, but there's uh, some cool riffs that kind of happen throughout. So we're just going to kind of go through uh, in the order that we encounter these parts in the song. We'll just play through them and we won't teach the repetition twice, but we'll at least acknowledge um, how to get through each section of the song. So let's start with uh, this first riff. The acoustic does the intro and then the whole band comes in and does the riff. And then the chorus starts. And this riff we're going to play all the time. So it's really an E power chord, open, second, second, and then another one on the low E string, 
and then three to four. Uh, second fret of A, fourth, back to two, three to four again on low E, and then second fret of A, and then we go back to that low E. But then the snare, da 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 I'm a honky tonk man. Then remember this one? All right, it's the exact same thing. Second fret of B, third fret of high E. We're going to start with two of them. And I can't seem to stop. Then three. A blues. And this time we're going to go chorus. Come home. 